Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is about viroids. Before we get into this video, please make sure to subscribe as this helps our channel out a lot. Okay, let's get to the video. Viroids are subviral particles. They're unique infectious agents that are much smaller and simpler than viruses. Despite their small size though and the lack of a protein caught, viroids are able to cause diseases in plants. Viroids are composed of single-stranded RNA molecules that are circular. They're highly compact as well. Unlike viruses, viroids do not possess any protein-coding genes. Their RNA molecules are typically 250 to 400 nucleotides long and forms intricate secondary structures through base bearing. These secondary structures are essential for viroid replication and pathogenicity. Viroids are unique in their ability to replicate and spread within plant cells. They enter the host plant through wounds, natural openings, or by insect vectors. Once inside the plant, viroids exploit the cellular machinery to replicate and spread to other cells. Viroid RNA is transcribed by the host plant's enzymes, generating multiple copies of viroid genome. These copies are then released into the plant cell, where they infect neighboring cells and continue the cycle of replication and spread. One of the most intriguing aspects of viroids is their pathogenicity. Viroids can interfere with the normal gene expression and protein synthesis of infected plants. They do this by targeting specific host genes or by triggering changes in the plant's small RNA regulatory pathway. These disruptions can lead to a range of symptoms, including stunted growth, leaf deformities, reduced yields, and even plant death. Studying viroids is not only important for agricultural purposes, but also for understanding basic principles of RNA biology. Viroids are fascinating examples of how a small RNA molecule can exploit a host organism's cellular machinery to cause disease. Exploring viroid replication, evolution, and host interaction enhances our understanding of the complexity of the biological systems and provides insight into broader fields of infectious diseases. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please make sure to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye!